Okay, what's up? So I've got this really simple, really easy to make paracord jig here and I basically, it's kind of like the big brother to this little guy that I've used for a long time. And if you're wondering where I got this, this is uh, from Jig Pro Shop. I don't know if they're still around, probably are. Cool little paracord jig. There's more to it. I just kind of stripped it down to what I need on there. But I did make some adjustments and basically this is something that anybody could do. I live in an apartment. I don't have a lot of power tools. All I have is a drill or all I used for this is a hand drill, a screwdriver and I used a um, Dremel tool to cut the wooden dowel just because that was the easiest thing at the time. But as far as cutting the wood, I just had Home Depot do it for me. I actually no, I didn't go to Home Depot. I went to an, my other local hardware store, but Home Depot does, you know, woodcuts just have them do it it's what 50 cents for every additional cut i mean yeah it's a little extra but it'll save you a lot of time and headache if you don't have a wood shop so uh yeah and you know i just put this thing together on my kitchen floor i laid out some newspaper some cardboard when i was doing the drilling i could have taken more precaution but you know just make sure you got your your uh, eye protection and you're good to go man i mean it's easy Supplies you need four wood screws. I think these were two inch wood screws that I used just make sure it goes down to the bottom piece there and uh, The rest of the hardware is just your wing nut your bolt and washer and again Whatever size you want just I just chose to go with a bit of a larger size just uh, Because it's easier to manipulate That's all um, the cuts I had them do on the wood, This, um, these are 1x2s, I had them cut to 24 inches. These are 1x4s that I had them cut to 4 inches wide. And like I keep, I'm going to keep on saying, it's just, it's up to you. You can make it wider, you can make it a little narrow, narrower. That's really just preference and this is just what kind of worked for me, I guess. Uh, and um, that's that's it for the supplies. Oh, and the wooden dowel is, I think this is a five eighths of an inch. Might be a, might be a quarter inch. Details, I did drill through to the bottom piece here because I wanted the wooden dowel to be able to go all the way down just to give it a little bit more stability. And I did that on both sides. And on the bottom here, so the bolt could be flush, I just drilled, took a larger drill bit and uh, just, just so that could be flush and wouldn't be scraping on the ground and stuff. Oh, and the last thing that you might want is uh, some sandpaper, just some uh, heavy grit and some lighter grit sandpaper or finer grit sandpaper, just to kind of smooth out the edges a little bit, give it a little bit. Since you know this was already had this already had kind of a rough look since I really didn't measure stuff out perfectly. Um, just wanted to do that to give a little bit of a finishing touch on it. You could add some brackets or some pieces of wood on each side to, so that it doesn't move around like that. You could put something on the end so that it doesn't slide right off, but I don't think that's necessary. And hey, you might want to re replace this part eventually or whatever. So just a little, a few ideas there that again, aren't, I didn't find necessary. Uh, yeah, so that's really it guys I mean it doesn't really take any more explaining um, this is my first paracord bracelet or paracord related video there probably will be more to come I do um, I am the owner of the cord kid so um, <laughs> do a lot of that stuff it's just finding the time to do the videos I'm probably gonna stay away from how to tie certain knots just because I don't do a really wide variety of knots anyways and um, and there's just so many other excellent YouTube channels that do that stuff so well so I'll leave that to them and I'll just maybe share some different concepts and techniques that uh, might be useful to you guys so hope that helped questions comments leave them for me I appreciate it and definitely if it did help um, shoot me a positive rating and a subscription I would uh, that stuff helps me out so all right thanks guys see ya